The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. It's the 28th of February, the day before leap year. We're looking at the Dow down 168 at 38,802. Now, it's been so, so difficult to get the usual criteria that I look for in some kind of a sell-off because to get a even a sell signal, let alone a sell mode, which is an upgrade of a sell signal, you would need to see the Dow down 380 to 420 uh, in the in the futures early one morning, and then the and the S and P down about 58 to 62, and then an attempt to rally, make an arch formation, and close at the low of the day. Then have some kind of overnight pullback, trying to rally, and the next day it opens up weak and it does it again, and it closes. Badly again, down 380 in the down. Just you need almost 700 points in a couple of days in the down. The downside, we've seen that on the upside, but we need to see it on the downside. And the same thing with the uh, S and P. We're not seeing that. <clears throat> what I am seeing is just a sense of tiredness in some of the very big caps. I mean, a really good example now will be Microsoft. Microsoft trading at uh, 405.58 down a dollar 95, uh, hit 420.82 just uh, about two and a half weeks ago, and it's really struggling. It's making the potential for a dreaded H being a spectacular winner. It's been a winner for the Dow, winner for the S and P, winner for the QQQ, winner for the XLK. And now it's just stalling. It's not failing. I mean, look at this weekly chart, and yet, and look at the monthly chart, leg D. And yet it's just showing certain, a certain sense of tiredness. And that tiredness can relate to slightly lower highs and slightly lower lows over a period of time. But we, we've only seen a little bit of that. I'm just using that as an example. Let's just go through this here. You've got the Dow in the inside track repellent zone. It's now gone. I just I by accident hit this line. It's not automated. It's everything I do here is fungible. Um, we're looking at the um, Dow hitting, almost hitting the both the nine period exponential moving average. No, yeah, what am I talking about here? Oh, that's right, because in this one I've got it as, as pink. I have it black in my other chart. Uh, pink nine period moving average um, and the green nine period moving average. Oh, let me just do it over here if you don't mind. Uh, let's see, there we go. <clears throat> So that's crude oil. Look how nicely it is above the nine period moving average. Let me change the chart. I need you. Yeah. So you see how it's pulling back, but you see the nine period moving average still above the 14 period moving average. You see the chart with this is the intra intraday price with just a thick gray line is already almost touching the 14 period moving average. Uh, it hasn't done that for a couple of days since it bounced sharply higher with that gap up the other day. And now look, the nine period, sorry, this is the on-balance volume, gave an exact reversal with a tiny little doji candle right there four sessions ago. And, uh, and now we're looking to see whether or not there's some kind of follow through or as usual, we see some buying coming in to, to really save the day. I think it's getting harder and harder to do that and you won't get that done unless you see the SMHs, which is semiconductors, uh, down 2.78 to 207.00, well, just for a split second, a round number, um, pulling back. And it's still over the nine period moving average. The nine is over the 14. And this is, and this is strange. You see, this is what I always say, that when you use a particular technique, you need to have a backup technique to be able to convince you that, uh, this particular indicator, which is usually very good, is not very good at this time. Look at that perfect low on the 4th of January uh, when, the S when the SMHs were down at uh, 163.97. That exact ictus, that turnaround right there. Look at that beautiful turn to the upside. And then you would think that this would become some kind of an indicator. But look what's happened. On balance volume, um, 
has turned down sharply, and yet the, there's a big divergence because the price is moving higher. Um, so I'm watching this very closely. Yes, we do have positions in the Dow and the SMHs on the on the on the negative side, you know, just for trading positions. But I'm just watching this very closely. Um, and as I said before, I'm not getting that huge sell. Why? Because this is the reason here. I've said it before, and I'll have to say it again. Until we get bad news that the market takes as bad news and treats it as a big negative, and that's the, remember I drew it here and I said there's a momentary uh, pause for this dark news index, and um, it, it's gone, and then we spiked above it. We've come back to test the actual trend line. But look at this. You've got... Let me go through this because it's so important. We're wrapping up uh, February. We need to be able to cover all these aspects that I consider to be important. Look, crude oil is rallying, but it, it's only rallying. Oh, I always do that. Go to this chart right here. Yeah, there you go. Crude oil is rallying <clears throat> up 47 cents. It's not breaking out. It used the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart very nicely in the 67 area. Announces 79. That's a pretty big move, but it's not really breaking out. In fact, it's already in leg C since the low was made. If this was a leg B, I'd say, oh, that's just the start of move. So all I can say is let's see what happens at the close on Friday because you've got the nine period moving average a flipping positive now, but this is a weekly chart. You have to wait for Friday at four, and the um, the daily chart is still acting really well. I have to check this. Am I correct here? Yeah. Moving average two lines. Oh, something happened last night. I knew there was something really weird. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this over again. Um, and I didn't want to. I, I was. I was pray. I was saying how fantastic it is that I've gone so long without my uh, trade station platform shutting down, and I'm losing. I lose all the data because it goes somewhere into the files. I just never get it back. I have to redo the charts, a whole bunch of charts. And you know, I'm doing thousands of charts over the year, notating them by hand, daily, weekly, monthly, 120 minute chart, whatever, even the one minute charts. Yeah, look, one minute chart of the E mini, uh, peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, peak E, and leg F right now. Right at the two, oh, I was in the same to the den, and I thought, I'm just too busy right now. 5,078 is the 200 period moving average. There could be resistance. We're going to be watching that. <clears throat> anyway, let's get back to this. I knew there was something wrong. I tried to fix it during the break. This is not right. I wondered why they so spread out. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. I am. This is the two. This is These are moving averages <clears throat> that are automated. It's not my moving averages. This is my the big pink and the black one. <clears throat> I couldn't understand what was going on. Okay, so now I can say crude oil is moving up. Bonds. <clears throat> Bonds are moving down. So the yields, if I go to the TNX, and that's really important because most of the uh, rates are, are derived from the TNX, is in the upper range, made a peak D, doji candle, it's at 42.91, it's 4.291. But really, that's not, uh, it's not breaking out to the upside. It almost looks like, doesn't this look like the crude oil weekly chart? I need these, if I'm really going to get a sell signal, I need to have some bad news that really says to the market, watch out. I'll be back. Dow's down 149. Coming back a little bit. I'll be If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. A Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. Dow's down 144. S&P's down 11. Really struggling to, 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 to find momentum to the downside. So I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to say I'm watching this very, very closely. More importantly, um, overall, what I'm looking at here is the um, the VIX index has not suddenly spiked sharply to the upside. I like to see the S and the, the volatility index hang out low as the market pulls back, and only when there's really gone, a, a, almost like a sell signal, does the VIX actually wake up. I prefer that. Anyway, uh, let's get back to our story. And I wanted to just check to see if there were any questions here. <clears throat> yes, there is a question. Let me just do this right now. I want to go through everything very carefully. We've got time. There's nothing to rush about. You can see the Dow is only down 144. If it was down 325 and the S&P, instead of being down 10, was down 32, uh, <clears throat> I'd, I'd have to rush. Because that would be saying, hey, got to be careful. So the FXI, the iShares China large cap, has gone to an E. It looks like a peak E. <clears throat> it's pulling back. The 9 is still over the 14. The MACD is still strong. Stochastic's really good up in the 99% uh, area. And, uh, I, you know, when you've got to change things, it's always frustrating. Let me just do that right now. Format the slow stochastic. I don't want the green is good, the red I don't want to show. So what do I do again? Um, don't, don't remember. I just want to get rid of it. Style. Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's get our display plot value. I believe that's correct. Let's just see what happens. We're out of there. Nope. Didn't do the right thing. All right, it doesn't matter. So within that context, FXI has rallied. That's the China large cap. It's pulling back some. The weekly chart still has a very ugly nine, a pink nine period moving average below the 14 period. The MACD did cross positive. The stochastic still way down 34%. Uh, on balance from volume became a little bit overbought. So I'm watching this closely because if the FXI uh, cannot garner really bull strength to get don't tell me now. I've got a new thing. Oh, oh, that's what I did. 
I really am uh, on the ball today, aren't I? Yeah. So let's just do this. I'm looking at uh, remove chart, interval, chart style. No, I want uh, on the right, it should say axis scaling, no axis. Axis scaling on the right. Oh, I can't even see where the price is now. All right, don't worry about it. We'll get that in a moment. Uh, it should just say a little thing that says price on the right. Where does it say? Chart interval, chart style, no, no, no. Count percent view, data window, remove axis scaling. I don't know what the axis scaling on the right, but let's see if I've got that here. Axis scaling, I'm going to put it on the right. There we are. <laughs> All these things. Oh, now I've got it on the left as well. Oh, man, who wants to waste time doing this? Unbelievable. Uh, you, uh, where was I? What was I looking at? Axis scaling on the right, not the left. Good grief. All right, I'll get back to it in one moment. Let's just get on. I want to show you something very important. So the XLK, XLK, so I've got price on the left, price on the right. XLK trading at 205.46, made a peak D. It's got a, a gray A right here. If this pulls back into the 202 by Friday, if it's down below 202.50, nah, 202.30. That's going to say, hey, be careful. Now we could start to see a pullback. If it's hanging out here with a nine period moving average still good, that's a good sign. What is it? It's the S&P Select Tech Spider Fund. Let me just give this a click here. Um, I'm really doing everything wrong today. Access, access to the right. So why does it say? Oh, oh, that's that's it. That's what it says. Okay. Sorry, I'm I, the reason why you've got a silence there is I'm just desperately trying to get this. I it irritates me to see it wrong, so I need to get this axis scanning on the left axis scan on the left. It says scan on the right. Why is it on the left? I don't know. All right, enough with that. So I want you to go through the different things. Look, you've got Nvidia. NVIDIA trading just down a little bit, down 12 at 774. Um, within the context of what we're looking at, it made, I'm calling this a peak F. I'm still calling it a peak F. The technicals are still pretty good. Stochastic is down under 80 at 75 percent. MACD is good. Retro strength not much weaker than it was at that big uh, high on the at 83.94 on the um, 23rd of, of the month. And it's just pulling back a little bit. If you remember SMCI, we were looking at that is <clears throat> super micro company uh, uh, semiconductors trading down 27 at 823. Um, and I can't even. I, I've made them in gray because it's, I, I should make them all in gray. I couldn't tell you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. About 14 or 15 round numbers, and today it opened at 120. Uh, all I can say is if I'm correct, and I, don't, I will not know if I'm correct for a while, um, what we're looking at is that will become kind of a cloud at the top that it has to try to pierce as it pulls back. That's just my thinking. I don't know because I've never seen, to my recollection, I, I haven't seen this many in key stocks um, for years, just, I mean, for years and years, so many. I've seen a couple every once in a while. I always mention them. And you remember Arm made that all-time high of 164.00, and here it is at 131. And even this has had a whole bunch of round numbers. I don't see any for today, nothing for today uh, yet. All right, so within that context, it's making a potential dreaded H pattern. They are drew in. That means it fails at a peak A or B. It comes down, takes out the left side low. That's way down. The left side low is at 115.49. It had a 117 round number, but it's 107. Let me put it over here. So it's got a lot of way to go to, to, to really break down. And all I'm saying is that the way I'm looking at the market right now, <clears throat> there are signs that tell me that we're we are definitely overbought, but that's not a guarantee to say that it has to break down. 
and I'm looking at all the different signs, the different signals. We'll see where the Dow closes today. Who knows? Dow could turn up, could close up 100 points. It's done that before. So this is a this is an important phase. We've kept all our long positions. We've added just two uh, small, uh, short positions, and we'll see what happens. All right. Now, the question came in. I want to deal with this right now. Um, coin. Uh, what was the exam? Let me. I, I actually typed it out so I would not forget to read it. Um, and it's a it's a very good question because it's what that once I, I pondered for ages now. Can you assess coin tomorrow on your show? Uh, Tom Lee, an incredible forecast, and only CNBC guest is worth listening to. And I, I absolutely agree with him uh, 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 that uh, Tom Lee is fabulous. Is looking at a at soaring over the next few years based on supply and demand. Also, how's fundamental story behind MJ sorting out? Should we put speculative money into coin? Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So we were talking about the question came in. Uh, is is um, MJ, which is the alternate harvest ETF cannabis sector? That's the uh, that's the uh, the combined one. But the one that is US is SM uh, MSOS MSOS or SMOS. There we go. SM SMOS. Whoa, there's a little problem there. Is it this? Uh, let me just do this here. Uh, M S O S. 
There it is. Okay, MSOS, which is the advisor shares pure U.S. cannabis sector. So this one to me is probably a little, in some ways, a little bit better than the MJ. Um, but actually, the MJ has been holding much better. So I don't know how to, and it's right there. The Chapman Wave Inside Track uh, Pro Palin Zone. We are along this. Uh, but so the question: They really two two completely different uh, instruments. They're dealing with completely different things. So here you've got longer term. If you have the patients, uh, there's legislation. There's a whole bunch of stuff that has to go on for MJ. I do believe at some point it'll all come right, but you need a lot of patients. So at this particular time. There's no comparison between the two because it's a, it's a time factor. Coin is already, um, let's just get to the picture right here. Coin has already, got, it's already gone from under 120 to almost a double today to 212. And it's only in leg C. So they, they're two an completely different animals. So Coinbase, um, and I'm just going to go GBTC right now just to show you that this they they all do kind of the same thing and they have slightly different patterns. This is already in a leg E, huge extension. I mean, I, I can't believe when this was tootling along in under twelve, I was saying to myself, you know, you had it once before twelve and it screamed up to the fifties. Why 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 aren't you I didn't do it for subscribers. I I apologize. Sometimes, you know, I miss the actual low turnaround and then I I, I, I'll obfuscate. But look at this. The nine period moving average um, didn't break down. That big move down into April, into May. <clears throat> then a continued high. It went to the 200 period moving average, hung around. Coinbase did the same thing. Um, it's slightly different chart band, but it broke above the 200 period moving average. Now it's like a sine wave up and down and up and down. I, I could call this a brand new B in the weekly chart. Right now, I'm calling an F. I think it's becoming somewhat overbought. I think we're very close to a pullback. You remember, I related the whole thing to gold. I can't relate it to the MJ. It's really the trading aspect is really what you've got to look at. That's why I went to Hood, which looks like Coinbase in a way, uh, Robin Hood. Even today, it's holding very well after a spectacular three, four days. So let's go back. So I'm treating them completely separately. If you're looking at <clears throat> longer term, the timing of MJ would be different altogether because this is coin is already in this huge breakout to the upside. I have to also show you Bitcoin. Look, Bitcoin, leg E, as I said, I think on a, just on the on balance volume basis, it's getting very overbought. The MACD still hasn't even turned down yet. So that's a huge thing. The stochastic's flat at 96%. That's really good. Weekly charts are good. So the all-time high right here, uh, that was November of 2021 of 73,790. I wouldn't be surprised if we get very close to it in this particular move. So I just got a, a ring. Someone rang the doorbell, and we've got Brent in Martinez. Brent, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well, Basil. How are you? I'm well, thank you. You'd Great like to, to look at, again. yeah, good to speak with you. And we're looking at the wisdom tree. Uh, if I can ever read these things, they're so great. You might have Mark. the wrong symbol because it should be a B is in boy, G is in oh, girl, B. S is in Sam, BGS. Is that BG Foods? Ah, BG Foods. Okay. Oh, I had this show up recently. There are a couple of food companies that have been showing up in my screamer list, very, very low price, under $10. And it's so hard to get in because they are making lower lows. And it's just this sudden event. Look, yesterday it's totally long at 950. Today it is up 20% at 11.28. Now you're going to tell me that you looked at it yesterday and you thought, this is interesting because you've got to turn around. I don't know if you use on balance volume, but you got to turn around, and it had the potential to move up. Therefore, you got some of it. Am I correct, <laughs> or am I wrong? I actually, I actually bought this way back. <clears throat> excuse me, in October. Uh, oh. Just among some other stocks, I caught the low. I bought. I'm in at 780, 
And so this is something that I've followed for a long time. I've been in it in the past, and I had never really seen it get below around the 10, 11 level. When I saw it break that and go down in the sevens, I went ahead and bought down at that low, and then I, with the intention of holding it actually longer term, it pays a decent dividend and just something that I think I caught the low, and I, honestly, I'd like to just stay in this for the long term. So, um, so you did you say you actually have you traded it or you held it all the way from October? No, I've held it. No, because I think I caught the bottom, so I'm planning on just staying so, in it, honestly. So I just have to go through this because it's what I always do when someone's held something that they thought would go higher, but instead it went lower and lower and lower and lower. When you get a move like this, it's trading at the high of the day, 11.33, and even yesterday you were just barely, well, not barely, you were actually quite nicely um, in the positive side, but you watched it go from the 11s down to the, uh, what were we down yesterday, to the 8s. What was the exact date? It was um, 9.18 was the low. What's happening right now is what you wanted to see price-wise, not chart-wise, but price-wise, way back in October. So the thing I always say is, if you suddenly see a price that you were hoping to get way back, but you actually had the patience to sit with it all the way down, um, and in fact it was down, but it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but you did sit with it uh, on the way down, then what I say is, Either you do one of two things. You either take something off immediately to say, "Shoot, thank you, thank you, thank you, trading gods," um, and you and you immediately raise the stop on on what you've got left, or what you do is you instead of a mental stop, you actually put in this time a physical stop somewhere that you're really comfortable with, and then you just watch it rally. That's the way I do it because you've you've been through it for a long time. Now it's doing exactly what you wanted. So I think you need to do two things. One is reward yourself for being patient. And the other is to do exactly what we're going to do right now and say, what would be the upside potential for this particular stock? It once in a monthly chart went from the um, about the 10 area all the way to the 46 area, leg B and then failed, did a dreaded H, went even lower and now it's starting to come back. I think it's worth looking at it and saying, what would be the potential? Is it earnings news today that's uh, doing it, or you don't know? Yeah, it came out yesterday. Okay, because I'd like to look at the weekly chart, because that's giving us a tremendous amount of information, because it just turned positive on the 914. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're looking at BNG Foods. We've got Brent uh, from California on the line, and this is. I, I was just thinking I might have to usurp uh, Tommy's newsletter, Rocket uh, Equities. Uh, I, I should make the show called the Tiger Technicians Hour Rocket Ship Show because this is a rocket <laughs> ship. And in the den, I've got someone. We've got uh, uh, jo Joey Deeds so looking at uh, ACMR. Look at this one, a ACMR um, trading at up. 36% up $8.29.87. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This is fantastic. In the den yesterday, we had BBAI looking at uh, Big Bear Holdings up another uh, today. It's just a rocket ship going from two the other day to 364. So let's get back to your BGR. Was it BGR? No, BGS. Yeah. BGS. Can, uh, can I add a couple of things, Basil? Sure. Fire away. First of all, yeah. if it goes just a tad higher, it's going to start uh, a leg C in the uh, weekly chart. All right. Fire away. Well, I just wanted to go back a little bit. I did at the time I bought those shares also. You know how I do the options as well. Right. I had bought uh, the $8, uh, the January you know, 2024 call. So I had made some good money on those. I sold out as it got up in the 10 area. And then I just, you know, I'm hanging on to my shares. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention that I noticed, and it should show up on your chart and is on the weekly. Yes. I use the 50 EMA. It has okay. not been above that. I've been able to get above that level for going back to 2022, early 2022. So that's an area that I'm going to be watching to see if it can't, you know, finally get above that. Good. So, okay, a couple of things. Um, you see this ugly candle from, uh, well, you probably remember it well. Back in September the 8th, it's at one, one minute, it's at uh, 12.49, the next down to 11.10, big red candle. Uh, and then that just triggered even more selling. And the selling was continuous from the, uh, the high of the 4th of August at 13.15. And what does it do? It goes all the way down to uh, $7.20. So um, within that context, what I'm looking at here, you see, if you're able to see my charts, you'll see there's a W formation that's unfolding in the weekly chart in the nine period, 914 crossover. And right now, the, the week is young. We've still got to go to Friday at 4 o'clock. And that is um, that you want to see this close with the nine period moving average flipping positive for the very first time since it broke down in May of 2023 when it was up in the 13s. That'll be a really good sign. That will, I'm not going to even talk about the monthly other than to say the technicals are starting to improve in the monthly, not the 914, but the MACD is, the stochastic is, and the unbalanced volume. So this, and the fact that we are now an hour and a quarter into the session, it opened at 1017. It ran to 1144. And it's it's like it's a, it's almost like a squeeze, a short squeeze. 
as well as people having been buying from the low in the sevens for quite some time. And that just says to me, um, oh, so wait a minute, I looked at the wrong chart. So you bought it in October, so actually you were never really, uh, you never really lost anything on that, um, although it re got very close to your level on this recent pullback, right? Yeah, like I said, I'm in the 780, so I was never in a position. Yeah, like a okay, position. I understand that. Yeah. yeah, okay, good. But but my my thinking always is that when someone calls in, and I include myself, that when I, you've got something, and I try, and I haven't done it for ages, that you're in a in a position and it goes against you, and you thought it was going up, but instead it's going down. Uh, fortunately, we hardly ever get calls anymore. Well, people saying, should I add to the losing position? Because that is just, ne if that wasn't your plan, you never want to do that. So that's excluded. But I did want to say that this big spike, and now we're, at, we're within a penny of the high of the day. This to me is absolutely fantastic action because it seems to me you're covering uh, BGS. You're covering, oh, you can see it now in the one minute chart. It's walking the nine period moving average, the five minute chart, the 10 minute chart. I think you've got new buyers here. I think something's happened that is changing. We'll have to give it another two full days before you can – actually, the start of next week is going to be important. Right now, it looks more than just short covering because you aren't even getting uh, pullbacks. There's buying is coming in. And I'm not sure that so many sh people would have been short that they're just covering and covering. I think this is new buying. So I like the fact that you're in it. I like the fact that you've – You've, you've done your homework, you've done it way before, and it's acting just the way you wanted it to. So this is this is the way I'd look at it. On a weekly basis, let me just go back to the daily chart right here, see, yep. So the daily chart has now gone above the previous highs. Uh, this would become, um, I should call it an extension, but if I had to call this a leg A, I would probably stay with it as an A, and I'm suspecting that when it does pull back, it's going to pull back to the 1068, 1050 area, and then it's going to make an inside rectangle with higher highs and higher lows, trying to get to whatever the high is in the next two days. Kind of that's the way I'm looking at it. So that's very positive. I like what it is. I like the fact that the whole I'm looking at certain stocks. I must go through them again because I forgot to um, for write down exactly what they did. There were certain stocks in the oil and gas area, the um, that exploration, and there were certain stocks in foods that were in the screamer list, way down in the five, six, sevens, even the eights and nines, and they had really big moves. So it's just telling me that. Uh, this is in the right category right now. It's kind of under the was under the radar. It'll become a little bit more in the radar. Now I was talking about that candle right here. This is the candle of the eighth of the week of the eighth of September. So twelve forty nine is the high. Eleven ten is the low. We've just gotten back into it. So that's kind of where I would look at it. I'd say that how it handles the twelve twenty to twelve forty area. That's a point higher. I'm sure you'll love to hear this. Is going to be very important over the next two weeks and how it handles support in the 1060s. I'd even go to 1040s. I, I don't want to see it take out today's low under any circumstances in the next two weeks. So I think you. this is a very nice one. And I hope people are listening and do their own homework because it looks to me like we might get a change of trend in the weekly chart where from the midpoint right here in October, you're starting to see that there's a like a rectangle forming with higher highs and higher lows going towards the doji candle high of the 1st of September of 13, uh, 1316. So, yeah, congratulations. Thank you, Basil. Yeah, there's a, there's a number of stocks. I've found some just literally, well, within the last few days, but going back a couple of weeks that – have hit low. So there's always those opportunities. There's one that you might want to look at. Just it's in the same area of the one that you just bought recently in your newsletter. I went with a little different one. It's a SQM. It's a it's a Chilean uh, company, but it does a lot of the same type of stuff. Wait, the well, what's, the, what's the symbol? Uh, Sam. Uh, Q is in question. M is in uh, Mary. 
Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Always love to hear from you. Everybody's uh, everybody likes to hear from you, Grant. Thank you for calling. All right. Take care. Yeah, it's, uh, it was down about 30 and it's low. Take care, Basil. Thank you. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I've also just wanted to check something out. So, okay, so a, uh, AMCR, I believe it was AMCR. I hope I got that right. Gosh. No. A so, I wrote it down. Had it already. Just real quickly, we'll get that right now. Uh, ha, 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 ha. ACMR. ACMR. 
<clears throat> yeah, I think I have to say almost the same thing that I said to Brett, uh, that this is ACMR, ACMR. She's one of those days, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> it's trading up very sharply. This is what I'm going to say. Take something off. It's just it's your duty to do that. Um, to yourself because you got a gift you weren't expecting yesterday at 22 that it would hit uh, 30 and take something off. I like the chart very much. The weekly chart is good. The, the, the monthly chart is good. ACMR, I can't even see what it is. It's ACM Research. Um, yeah, it's uh, that's what I would say. And the other one was I will deal with those. For those of you in the den that have asked me questions, I'll just text in what I'm looking at. Fidelity National acting really well, PD. So I'm going to hand you over to Steve Rhodes. Have a great session. Check out my opening call, Daily News.